Hey everyone, Paul DC and today we have a new video. I know I've been quite messy with my uploading schedule, but here we are. This kind of like a different video. Uh, back in the day, I was reached by Christina Mandlachiani's uh, PR or marketing team to see if I could do a video where I could comment on her new book, which is releasing soon. The book is called Becoming Flossum. And Flossum is a nice wordplay that involves the terminology of flawless and awesome. And it makes a reference to actually uh, a journey of personal growth where instead of seeking perfection, you seek something different, uh, something more perhaps truthful to what personal growth should be. And my first response was, of course, that I cannot comment or give a review on a book that I haven't read. I think that would be perhaps too unprofessional for obvious reasons. And what they mentioned is, okay, you don't have to give a review, of course, about the book since you won't be able to read it until it's published. But what we want you is just to give your thoughts the same way you do on a wide array of different topics on your channel about the launch of this book. So I said, well, if I can find an angle where I can add value to my viewers and do this commenting on the launch of this book, I can definitely do that. So here we are. Uh, if it haven't rang your bell, uh, the last name Lachiani is because Christina uh, is the co-founder of none other than Mind Valley, this huge, amazing platform that is thriving in the realm of let's say spiritual, personal growth, uh, awareness content. They also have the single method within. And oddly enough, one of my most successful videos in this channel was the one where I gave the review and my two cents on Mind Valley and the silver method that is offer, offered over there. And going back to, to Christina's book, I always found interesting how people that were able to succeed in businesses or structures or, or things that can be considered to be in the realm of awareness or spiritual content or spiritual teachings or personal growth mixed with a use of spirituality. I always liked to know the personal journey behind people that were able to build these platforms that do have a massive impact, even on a global scale, when it comes to helping people either awaken or grow their, their consciousness. As I have stated in my original video, there are some things that I do fully agree and like about uh, Mind Valley, and others I do not agree. But what amazes me the most is that there are many things that one can learn while you are embracing your own spiritual journey by just seeing the story or the backstory of people that were able to lead these things at a large scale. Not only the process of trying to stay on top and lead these massive structures, but the whole journey of building them and that would be kind of like on the outside, but what matters most on the inside and what I am most interested in is the actual journey within of these, uh, of these people, uh, how they were able to find and discover spirituality, how they were able to embrace it, what was their process like and what learnings did they uh, gain from their personal journeys and what was that factor that uh, pushed them to say, I want to help others, so let's find a way. Some people may open a, a yoga studio, some other people may offer uh, private uh, consultations, uh, some people become life coaches, some other people build platforms like Mind Valley, which is the case of Christina. So I think that uh, whenever someone, more so someone that can be considered extremely successful in this realm, 
uh, has a personal story to share and that personal story includes the chapters related to their own personal spirituality um, at least personally I always love to hear that type of stories this is another wild example just to make the point I am explaining right now for instance I like to read much more the personal story of for example Jose Silva of how he discovered everything that he then built rather than reading about what he actually built I always been very interested in the personal journey aspect of these people another case is Eckhart Tolle I am more fascinated not but by what he wrote which I do love and I do try to live by by his teachings but it caught more my attention his personal story of his own awakening because when you're undergoing your own spiritual awakening sometimes it can feel very lonely uh, it can feel weird it can feel like um, give you this sense of perhaps you want to go back or you're not sure if you are going uh, down the right way but uh, while hearing the stories of other people that seem to have already undergone through these processes and are at the other end of this uh, tunnel or this school of growth and they have managed to acquire some sort of success in their fields I think there is much to learn and there is much uh, to grow and in the worst case scenario this is what happened uh, with me while reading these types of personal stories and paths and journeys is that things that I found that uh, were perhaps a little bit unsettling about my own awakening process by learning that another person went through something very similar if not the same it put my mind at ease at some point and it made the process easier so that is my review on this upcoming book I'm going to try to put the picture in here I do like the title because I do like the concept of not chasing perfection but personal growth is not achieving perhaps the most perfect version of yourself but the healthiest, the most coherent one with awareness and the most uh, synchronized self with consciousness which has nothing to do with uh, what the modern day capitalism sells you as uh, your growth, your grown version, which is often uh, counting piles and stacks of money, driving nice cars and many other things that are completely ephemeral and irrelevant. So I am actually looking forward uh, to this book. Uh, when you will be seeing this video, it will be July 10th or around that, that date and I will leave you some links in the comment section below and yeah that's my two cents not only on this particular release but on these types of books where someone um, that contributed to some extent to a large extent uh, in matters of awareness spirituality and growth when they tell their own personal stories I think it is just interesting and it can be very yielding to just know them, hear them out, read them out and see what you can um, grab for yourself from their own experience so you can make your own awareness journey more fruitful, smoother and get there perhaps not faster but at least build the confidence within yourself that you are on the right path. So that is what this video is going to be about next week i'm going to go back to my usual bread and butter and more pure awareness topics and see you the next one